G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Now the car you're looking at is definitely not a Wasabi car. Yes, it is in Japan, but it's not rusty and um, it looks to be slightly modified, which is again, not really a Wasabi car car, but it is a stunning car. Perhaps you're watching this video because you are a fan of the BMW Z4 from the GT300 class, or perhaps you are a fan of Hatsune Miku, the uh, blue-haired robot singing robot? Anyway, so uh, yeah, we saw this at the uh, Super GT round seven, I think it was, at Autopolis in Kyushu. And I think it was the Kyushu 300, that's the name of the event. And it was a challenge to get there because we are what? We met at a place called Hita, just north of the racetrack, and then we drove to the track. It took about an hour. Even though we went the wrong way the first time, that was a bit of a hassle. But yeah, when we got there, guess what, guys? What did we forget? Wow. Yeah, we forgot the tickets. So, I, I wasn't devastated like the guy who, who had the tickets, but um, but anyway, it was sort of a, uh, yeah, it was tough. It was tough guy, it was hard to take. But anyway, we, we drove back to Hita, we got the tickets, jumped back in the car again, and guess what guys? We got lost, and we're driving around the back streets of rural Japan, narrow roads, single lane roads, asking people for directions. And um, it took us, what, two to three hours to get back. So, you know, you can imagine we missed, we missed a chunk of qualifying. But, you know, so we didn't actually see them on the track, as, you, as we will explain later. But anyway, so we got there, and it was sort of misty and rainy. And that, we thought, well, that's probably not good. And there was no sound of race cars, guys. The event had been called off. So after that massive detour, we get there and uh, no race car action. Well, certainly no race car action, racing on a track action. But anyway, we walked around, we got some excellent photos and videos from the car parks, and then we went to the exhibition area, the pit area, saw all the, you know, the race queens and the uh, race team trucks and some people with fire suits on, and we saw tires, and, and we did see this car, this BMW. And uh, it, the livery is just spectacular, eye-catching. The bodywork, you know, massive flares, spoilers, Fat wheels, uh, yellow tinted headlights, that's a big thing. Sort of cool pink side mirrors. And um, guys, I don't know much about this. I don't know anything about the specifications of this car, but I know it's got eight cylinders. <laughs> Damn, I hope you're sitting down for that fact. And uh, well, I'll tell you what, it was a welcome sight because there wasn't a whole lot going on on the track, so to see this BMW, this particular BMW, because it sort of is famous due to that wild livery, it was good. It was a great day overall, I think. You know, we walked around, saw some good stuff, and um, I really would like to go to this event in the future. I think next year, I will definitely go, and I'm gonna study up, I'm gonna learn more about what Super GT is, because it looks to be an exciting brand of, of, uh, of class, and uh, I would like to know more about it. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, see you later. Goodbye.